In this video, we're going to learn how to remove the first occurrence of a character in a string using C. The first thing we'll do is create a test string. We'll declare a car array called string, and we'll store into this car array the string courses. Let's say that we want to remove the first occurrence of the character lowercase s from the string. We'll declare a car variable called to remove to store this character, lowercase s. Then to help us out, we'll also include the string.h library, because this library includes a function called strlen, which is going to return the length of a string. Now remember that strings in C are terminated with a special character called the null terminator. So at the end of this string here, past the second lowercase s character, we have the null terminator character represented with backslash zero. And this character signifies the end of the string. Now also remember that each character in this string is stored at an index. So for example, lowercase c here is stored at the index zero, lowercase o here is stored at the index one, and so on for the rest of the characters in this string. Now to solve this problem, we'll first create a loop which finds the first occurrence of the character that we're looking for. We'll use a counter variable to help with that. So we'll initialize a counter variable i to zero. Then in the first iteration of the loop, We'll check to see if the character at the index i is equal to the character that we're looking for. If it's not, we'll just continue to increment i. And we'll continue to increment i until i either reaches the length of the string or until we have at the index i the first occurrence of the character that we're looking for. If we do find the character we're looking for at the index i, then we're going to stop that first loop. So let's first create this first loop. We'll declare here a variable called length of type int, which is going to store the length of our string. We'll call the string length function strlen to find that string length, and we'll pass it our string. And this function is going to return the length of the string it's passed as an argument, not including the special null terminator character. So in this case, it's going to be seven because our string has seven characters, not including the null terminator, and we'll store that into length. Then we'll create our counter variable i and we'll initialize it to zero. So we'll have int i is equal to zero. Then we'll create our loop. We'll have while i is less than length. Then inside the loop body, we'll check to see if the string at the index i is equal to the character that we want to remove. Then we'll break if that's true. Otherwise, we'll increment i by one with i plus plus. So the way this loop is going to work is that i is going to begin at zero. And with each loop iteration, we're going to check to see if that character at the index i is equal to the character that we're looking for. And if it is, then we're going to break and stop the loop. Otherwise, we'll increment i. So i will just continue to be incremented until eventually it reaches the first occurrence of that character that we're looking for. Then the loop is going to stop. Now, if the character does not occur in the string at all, then i would just be incremented until i is equal to length. And at that point, the loop is going to stop because i is no longer less than length. But let's say it's a situation like this one here, where i is set to the first occurrence of the character to remove. Then to remove this character from the string, we're going to pull forward by one index all of the remaining characters in the string. So for example, we're going to take this lowercase e here and copy it into this index here. Then we're going to take this lowercase s here and copy it into this index here. Then we'll take the null terminator and copy it into this index here. And that will effectively delete that first occurrence of the character lowercase s from the string. Now to actually achieve this, what we'll have is a second while loop. And that second while loop is going to begin with i at this index here. Then what we'll do is copy what is in the index i plus one into the index i. So we'll take lowercase e and we'll copy it here. Then we'll increment i and i will now be here. Then in the next loop iteration, we'll do the same thing. We'll take what's in the index i plus one, which is lowercase s, and we'll copy it into the index i. And so lowercase s will now be here. Then i will be incremented. Then in the next loop iteration, we'll take what's at the index i plus one, which is now the null terminator, and we'll copy it into the index i. And again, we'll stop the loop once i reaches the length. So once i reaches the index length, then we'll actually stop the loop. So let's implement the second loop. After the first loop runs, we'll have while i 
is less than length. And we'll take what's at the index i plus one and copy it into the index i. Then we'll also increment i. So this loop is going to do exactly what we described. Then we can output the string with printf and we'll have string and then percent %s to output a string followed by backslash n for new line and we'll output the string. Then we'll set our string to courses again. So up here we'll now have courses and we'll save it and compile and run our program. And we get here now courses with that first lowercase s character removed. So our program is working. Now, one thing we could do is put this logic inside a function so we could call the function in different places in our program. So let's do that. Up here, we'll declare the function. We'll have void for the return type because the function is going to modify the string it's passed. It's not going to return a new string or anything like that. We'll call the function itself remove first. The function is going to be passed the string and the character to remove from the string. So we'll have car string for the string and const car to remove for the character. We can use const here because we're not going to modify this character. So we'll copy this and supply a definition of the function down here. And what we'll do is just cut and paste our logic into the function body. So we'll cut this function logic up here and we'll paste it into the function. And we have the same variable names here as our parameters here. So this should all work as it is. Now up here, we'll call the function. So we'll call remove first and we'll pass it our string and the character to remove. And then if we save compile and run the program, it's going to work the same as before. So this is how we can remove the first occurrence of a character from a string using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.